Hello everybody. Hi everybody. Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do, um, well, kind of a takeoff on Roxy Creations. I believe it is week 26. Well, I'll have to check and make sure. Um, where she uses postcard ephemera and makes it into, uh, well, a sleeve envelope. No. Well, yeah, a sleeve or an envelope pocket type of thing. So anyway, I have some postcard type ephemera. I've got these that, that were in a kit. I've got these that, uh, I'm not even sure where I got those. They're not something I printed. Um, I've got some smaller ones that were in a kit. So, yeah, let's get started here with this. So, this one is a smaller one that I thought would be cute. And I pulled out... Uh, this piece and I don't know where I got this either it's not again it's not something I printed but um, anyway uh, so let's go ahead and use it and um, what's nice about this is that it has my scissors it has lines I can follow because <laughs> I'm not I'm not really good at cutting, cutting straight anything. My uh, instructor in, in college in accounting said that my my lines that you make in, in accounting when you're doing a, you know, double line for, you know, this is the end total or whatever. He said that my lines look like Oregon road maps. <laughs> and, yeah, he was right. And, unfortunately, my cutting abilities is just about the same. So, I think... What I want to do is make a little indentation here. Oops, that's not going to work out very well, is it? Because it's way too close. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out of frame. I know I was. So I'm going to put the. This is very. This is just normal copy paper this was printed on so it's not very thick so I'm going to line that up with some other heavier paper and try that again ah wow well okay hmm. there we go Give a little bit of a of course this is already lined with some other distressing of a different color so mm -hmm. All right, so that's going to go like that, and we want to do glue on the three three edges. Mm. My glue lines are not any better, and they look like Oregon road maps too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Put that 
stuff down right away. Really good. And uh, let's see, kind of a weird thing going on there. So I'm gonna straighten that up a little bit. I'm gonna take the edge off of those corners. Re-glue, re-ink that. Okay, ink around here. I I'm not sure end of the day whether these are going to be you know glued down or clipped in you know if you glue it down you wouldn't necessarily have to decorate the back I, I hope I'm in frame I keep feeling like I'm not I'm going to match that up. This paper has these lines on it that is just <laughs> really awesome. <laughs> okay, so bend that over. Ink that. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Little envelope. Little tuck spot. So that could be decorated. You know, it's kind of cute the way it is, though, really. And the back is plain, so you know, like I said, it depends on whether you're going to glue. If you're going to glue this down on a page, then you could leave it like that, of course. Um, if it's going to be clipped in somehow, then you, you know. The back is there to decorate as well. Let's put that over. And let's get to the next one here. And then we'll worry about we'll worry about decorating later. Okay, so here's another one I printed from a kit. It's it's just on copy paper. And this is some ephemera I had that I haven't had a use for, so I thought this would be great for this. And, uh, I think... Oops, I don't want the little, little... Yeah, you know, I have these little scissors. You'd think they would be better for intricate things and fussy cutting and all that stuff, but I find I keep turning to these larger ones. Okay, let's round those corners. Just because I like, I like rounded corners. You don't have to. Um... I think that, oh, you know, I'm probably going to run into the same problem with this one, aren't I? It doesn't like this thin paper, and it really doesn't like doing just a little, little slice of it. So, just, there we go. That worked out. Ink that. Okay, now we have it like that, and that would come over. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. Okay, so let's glue this down. I hope everyone's having a good day, good week. Um, finding time to for some crafting, for some activities. You know, it's so, it's so odd. Yesterday, we went to a county fair. I tell you, it was just kind of, I don't know. 
it was familiar and unfamiliar at the same time, being being at, at something like that with people. You know what I mean? Um, we, our governor here in Oregon has lifted the mandate for wearing masks and social distancing. So, you know, there was uh, some people there wearing masks and some people, and most, most people weren't. Some people were, most people weren't. Um, we started out wearing our masks just because, you know, it's just normal to do that, right? <laughs> I mean, you didn't go anywhere without a mask for over a year. So, you know, we started out with a mask when we were waiting in line to get in at the gate. Um, and we were just kind of, we were outside, but, you know, there was a lot of people around us. We were wearing masks. But when we got in, in, the, in the gate onto the fairgrounds, uh, we took our masks off. We've both been fully vaccinated, so, you know, we're okay. And, and we, don't, we don't really get our, ourselves in positions normally where we're going to, you know, carry infection to someone else. I mean, for the most part, you know, aside from going to grocery stores, which we still wear our masks when we go to a grocery store, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just not ready to, I'm not ready to give that up yet. So, but yeah, going to the grocery store is about the only thing we do, and we wear masks when we do that, so... Um, I'm not really too concerned that I'm going to spread it to someone else that might not be vaccinated, you know. But, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was fun, you know. We had our scooters and, you know, there's some areas we couldn't go in <laughs> because, you know, they were out in grassy areas and the scooters won't won't go out in grassy areas unfortunately the scooters we have are not four-wheel drive scooters <laughs> kind of wish they were but they're not okay now i'm i don't know i'm just looking at this and i'm thinking now Ra, um rachel when she was doing her um challenge folded this over as a flap whether it was going whether the opening was across the top or on the side she did both but she always had the flap but you know i'm i'm looking at that and oh, the writing is upside down <laughs> i was more looking at that than anything so i you know do I want to fold that over or do I want to leave it like that? Hmm. Now I'm wondering. Maybe my, mine's going to be a variation, huh? Because I kind of like it open like that. At least on this side one. Well, we're going to leave that and, and see. We'll, we'll have a think. We'll have a think on that, okay? Um, all right, here's another one. Now this is not some, oh, that, that came from a, hmm, where did that come from? Must have been a, a, a scrapbook pad kit. I don't know. It doesn't seem familiar. Oh, wait a minute. That is something I've glued together. Yep. Yeah, I've glued that together. So that's that's what it is. This was probably printed from a kit. 
but it was um, copy paper and very flimsy. So what I did was back it uh, with some scrapbook pad, scrapbook pad paper I had left over. So I'll do this first. And I think I'm going to round these. Okay. And, well, all right, that doesn't matter. So if we if we put it there, oh, it's going to have to go this way again. Okay. So, I should have looked at that first. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, that's going to have to go that way. So, let's just trim this down. So, anyway, we had really, we had a fun day at the fair, you know, it, it was just a county fair, so it wasn't real big, but they had a few vendors there. A lot of rides and stuff, but you know, we didn't. We didn't really go look at that. But it was just nice, nice to get out and do something like that. I mean, you know, going to the, the county fairs, the state fair, it's something I used to do every year. You know, I'd go to several county fairs and go to the state fair. But I haven't done that. I haven't really done that in, in quite a few years. So, you know, it's not a normal uh, activity. But, um, yeah, it was fun. I found I found this. Isn't that, I like that. Um, it's the stretchy band kind, which is is nice. Um, I was real excited. I saw the rings and I thought, oh, they're not going to have my size. You know, they never do. And then I noticed that they were the stretchy kind, and I thought, woohoo! Actually, even with that, some of them were too small. <laughs> Depends on how much stress, stretchy there was, I guess. I don't know. Some of them were too small, but yeah, usually that's the problem I have with rings is they typically don't come in uh, my size. And when I saw the stretchy ones, I thought, oh, that would be fun. I mean, usually I wear um, well, you know, the ring my, my guy gave me, which, you know, is not fake. <laughs> um, and I've got a few other rings, some that uh, my mom and dad got me which are also not fake. Um, but I do like, you know, I do like fun, fun, fun rings too. You know, just usually, like I said, they, they don't come in my size. So when I found these stretchy ones, I thought, oh my goodness. So I did, I got a couple. <laughs> I could have gotten more, but you know, I thought, oh, I better. No point in getting a whole ton of them, but I did get a couple of them. I thought that would, that would be fun. Especially since, you know, they, they fit. They had one that was a butterfly that I really would have liked to have gotten, but it was too small. Um... So oh, yeah, I guess it didn't have as much stretchy around it, or I, I don't know why, but 
it didn't quite fit. It was just too small, and I was I was very disappointed in that because yeah, I liked I liked the butterfly one. Let's ink that. And we're gonna ink this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with the back of these. I mean, I don't want to decorate it if I'm going to end up gluing it down into a journal. I suppose I, you know, I suppose the best thing to do would be just to leave them as it is. So they're ready to go. And then you can add more decoration to them in accordance with, you know, your journal. So I wish I hadn't rounded these corners, but actually, well, no, I probably, if I try to do, if I try to cut it now, I probably really make a mess of it. So. I will leave it as it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I wonder. How about a closure, huh? Would that be... Should have thought of that. <laughs> Let's see. Where are our... Oh, boy. We got silver and we got gold, looks like. So now what are we going to use? What are we going to use, huh? What do we have here? Anything? Anything in there? Oh, oh that would be pretty, wouldn't it? <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about that, but yeah. That would be cool too. Yeah. Keep that out. All right, what did I do with those? I'm always rearranging things because I don't have I don't have the room I had when my studio was in a different location. And, um, so I'm constantly. organizing and reorganizing and coming up with different things and then of course I can't find anything right oh my god so where did those go I don't know. can you see what I'm doing here I don't know can you can you Let's see, oops. See, we don't want a flimsy stamp, but I had some others that I had made that I'm trying to find. And then I organize things and then I can't find anything because nothing is where it was. Oh. Flimsy. Oh. What are they? Let's 
be. All right, maybe no, we don't want to take all day with this. Oh my goodness. Oh, for heavenly days. Well, now I'm going to have to try and find these little doohickeys that I made. Because I don't know where they are right now. And they would be perfect. But what have I done with them? Oh my. <laughs> guys you know oh well we have my perfect seals I wonder if that would go like that and I could tuck under could it tuck under no this is too this is too um, thick to just tuck under. Yeah, those are all my perfect seals. Oh. What did I do with them, huh? And I can get those to come out, but they won't. Flowers. Hmm. Well, these flowers. Well, this paper just doesn't want to tuck. That's the problem. the gold and what we're going to have to do is line this with something so it's a little stronger and what should we use here that for something. Maybe not this one though. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go up here. This is this really nice uh, sturdy paper. That's what I'm you know hoping for. Anyway, what I'm trying to use is just something that's going to be nice and sturdy. So, turn that down a little bit. Ink it up around the sides. Get rid of that white core. Glue this down. I don't know if this is going to work or not. This might be the wrong shape. 
too big. You know, those other things I made would be perfect because they're the right shape. Oh, this is going to make me crazy now. What did I do with them? I reorganized a bunch of stuff the other day and... Oh, wait a minute. don't know what I've done with them. They're the cute little tags. Okay, never mind. All right, so this we want to, how do we want this to work? It needs to swing out. So we put it there and it has to clear. It has to clear that. And then come back around. So, right there. So, a hole through there. And, uh, so yeah, that wants to swing around, it needs to clear it, so there we go, yeah. okay now, <laughs> excuse my reach, maybe this will, don't want it to go all the way through, right, there we go. Perfect. So, get this, get this. <laughs> it's always easier to do these things before you glue everything down. Problem is, we, we rarely think of it, right? Before we do it. It's like afterwards, and it's like, oh yeah, this would be cool. <laughs> and then you spend half the day fiddling with with something. Mm -mm. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so now we go like that and it closes. Oh, I hope I was on camera for all that. I'm sorry. I just don't know how close I can get and still be, still be in view. So there we go. We want to do our butterfly, and I definitely want this. This has been knocking around for quite a while. This is a die cut from from something. Uh, that's just been knocking around forever and I never had a good place for it so now it has found a home isn't that fun I love it when when that happens okay so where do we want to put the butterfly right there I think I'm just going to do the middle of the butterfly so we keep our wings wings flapping <laughs> I, I like these um, 2d or 3d butterflies I, li I like it when you get a kit and it has the same butterfly but in in varying sizes so you can actually you know layer them up I have some that are three three layers, and those are really neat. But yeah, I like that. I don't know what do you think? Oh, I like that, don't I? It's simple. Um, I 
That's kind of pretty, huh? I don't have a whole lot of stuff out here. I kind of I kind of just picked a you know the ephemera that went with um some of these postcards I I printed and kind of like that. want to cover up too much that's the problem I have with collaging you know I, I have a hard time covering up something I, I've watched other people do it right and they just totally cover up something they've just put down and before you know it it's just like totally covered up it's like what was the point of it even being there you know um, and I don't I don't like t doing that, you know, covering up something. So, yeah, I like that writing and the Paris stamp. And, I, you know, I like all that, so I don't want to lose it. Okay, so that one, except for the back, is done. And like I said, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with the back because, you know, I don't want to... Deco decorate the back and then glue it down. Oh, let's see. I'll put that over there. I like that, how that turned out. This one, I, I, uh, I definitely think this is something I would want to glue down. So I'm going to leave the back alone. And I, I don't want to cover up the flowers or the lady. Um, no. Well, none of those are working, are they? No. All right, where's my other flower? My other, my other butterflies that we have done here. That's too big. It's uh, wrong color, blue. Oh, that's better. spend all day with that either but yeah a little butterfly there would be nice huh there yeah um I want to say uh, I wish I had wish I had a little stamp that had a saying on it, but I don't. Oh, words, words, words. Where's the words? Oh. Okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. And, uh, you know, what have you done that we haven't done in a year and a half? <laughs> uh, have you ventured out at all? Stayed at a hotel? Gone out to eat? Fairs, I'm sure, are starting up everywhere right this time of year. Are you going to go? Have you gone? I don't know about other places here in Oregon. Um, you know, you can wear a mask if you feel like it. If, if you're more comfortable wearing a mask, you know, I didn't see anybody getting hassled because they were. You know, it's personal personal choice, right?
I tell you, the first time we went to a restaurant, it was just the local restaurant. It's just, we live in a senior, senior estates type place. Um, it's all individual, you know, single level homes. They're all a bit smaller in size because it's 55 plus and, you know, so it's not families because you can't, you can't live here at all, period, unless you're at least 55. So, you can you know, no families, <laughs> children and things like that. So all the homes are, you know, on the smaller side meant for, you know, one, two people. Um... And right next to the pro shop, we have this little restaurant, which we, we like going to. They have really good food. And uh, we, we can, you know, take our scooters and just go over there. So we went there. Uh, actually... think we've been at any other restaurants tell you the truth except this one that's on the on the estates um anyway first time we went I it was like a kid in a candy store right it's like oh my goodness look at all the choices <gasps> and I don't have to cook my sweetie does the cleanup usually he's I cook for the most part, and he cleans the kitchen and loads the dishwasher and things like that. So we kind of have our our little routines. But uh, yeah, I was just looking at this menu and all these choices, and I don't have to fix it. I don't have to cook and. Wow, it was just, it was a little overwhelming, you know, and it was really exciting, you know, like I'd never been to a restaurant before, for heaven's sakes. So, you know, everything old is new again, you know, which is, I don't know, it's kind of nice, really. <laughs> you know, we just get so used to things, and and now it's, it's you know, it's like, be, you know, everything is new. Oh, I like that. I don't think I want to do anything more to it. Do you? I mean... Uh, let's see. Where's my black lace go? Let's uh, cut out. Cut off a bit of this lace. And see about that. I don't want to cover her up. Hmm. Hmm. Which way does this go? Do, does it matter? I don't think it matters. So let's see how this side works out. This side works out a little better. I mean, I could have that going just along the top, not to cover her up or anything. But yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? I'm going to cut it right here. And uh, I'm just going to cut it along here. <coughs> oh, goodness, excuse me. Oops, oh, I didn't cut that very well, did I? Okay, so let's get out the fabric tack. Oops. And uh, see what kind of a mess we can make. I lost my, um, I had to throw away my Sugar Bell bottle that I was using the fabric tack for. Because it had some kind of leak right at the 
right where the cap screwed on it had had some kind of leak and it would bubble up bubble up through and run down the side <laughs> and uh, I finally when I, once I used all the fabric tack that was in that bottle I just tossed it because this glue is way too expensive for even a drop of it to be lost you know what I mean it's just way too expensive to to lose it like that so I didn't like that okay um, where is a little bit of bling I think a little bit of bling is called for I always think that though a little bit of black a little bit of bling <laughs> Okay. All right. So, where do we want the bling? Oh, hang on. I I do not like those little things sticking out. That just bugs me. Makes it look like a bug. <laughs> okay. Do we want where do we want it? Oh. It's a bit of all right, isn't it? I mean oh, we're not gonna be all day trying to figure out where to put that. Because I believe we're gonna have to Wrap this up. My videos seem to go long. Okay, so. There's that one. I like that. And little, little place to slip things here. This one would be glued down to the page in the journal. So there's that one and this one and uh, and then this little guy I think we should probably have something more on it though shouldn't we? I, I do like these flowers. I was hoping to use them. These are all the same size, aren't they? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's going to be too big, but we could use that much of it. And, uh, what the heck. I'm just going to tear that. And there. I like, I like tearing. I, like, I don't know, I like the, I like the look of the torn most of the time. Sometimes the cut edge is, is uh, needed, but most of the time I like more of the torn, torn edge. So, that, we have a little bit of hit with some ink. Vintage photo, which I use most of the time. I do like Ground Espresso too, though. I use that. Ground Espresso and and Vintage Photo are the two I use mostly. 
unless I'm getting out my color colored ones for some reason okay yeah huh yeah oh I like that that's cool where's the glue are you seeing me you are <laughs> I guess I need to get some kind of lines down on my desk just so I know that I'm in frame still worrying about it I really can't see it from from where I'm sitting it's it it's a little bit too high up to actually see uh, what's being filmed so I just you know that's why I keep fretting about whether or not I'm in frame Yeah, I need to I need to mark out my my table a little bit here and that way I don't have to fret and worry about it all the time. Well no Well it depends on the position, right? <laughs> what I'm filming with as well. You know, if I don't have that in the same position, then that's gonna also change the field. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. I like that. So, yeah, we got a little little guy here. This one, I think I think I'm going to do something with the back. I think this will be like a clip in, you know, like paper clipped or maybe into a tuck. Oh, here's something I made earlier today. So, you know, that could that could be you know, tucked in like that. So, yeah. Let's do something with the back. I don't have a whole lot of things out on my desk. But... I'm going to find something. Hmm? Oh, that's nice. Um, we don't want anything that's going to catch, you know, if this is going to be put into a pocket or something like that. We don't want anything sticking out that's going to catch on things, of course. And we could continue with this blue one. Oh, yesterday we also stopped at a local farm. And this farm is really cool. I mean, they've got fresh produce, but they also have like homemade baked goods and lots of plants, um, some yard art, and you know, just all kinds of different things like that. And most of the place is, um, you know, uh, asphalt so our scooters work some areas are gravel so you know we can't we can't go there but we can we can get around most of most of all the areas so that's that was fun so yeah we got some fresh fresh pears and some sugar-free marion berry jam some cheese. I love cheese. <laughs> Give me, you know, a slice of ham, some some Gouda cheese, some tomatoes, a glass of wine, and I'm a happy girl. <laughs> know if we can knock that down let's see 
use the back of here and maybe knock down some of that white. You know, I can't, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a real detailed fussy cutter. If you haven't figured that out. <laughs> I do the best I can, but some things are just too much. I could take some of that off there, though. Yeah, some things I don't even bother with. It's like, really? <laughs> you expect someone to be able to fussy cut that? <laughs> Some people can. I've watched them. I've watched them. It's amazing. But I am not a detailed fussy cutter. So if something has too much detail on it, it's not happening. Too fiddly. Okay, there we go. That's, I like that. It's simple. Isn't well, that cute? So yeah, that, that can go in a little pocket or something like that. So, you know, maybe I'll put something, you know, a piece of lace or something along there. Who knows? Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's what we made for today. And uh, check out um, Rachel with Rocky, Roxy Creations. Um, yeah, this is where I got the inspiration for these. I believe it's her week 26. I will check and make sure and um, try and link, link her video to, to this one. So you can check that out. Anyway... Thanks for uh, joining me in my studio. Thank you for coming along with me in our journey of uh, junk journals. Um, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications of other journeys that we're going to have. And um, take care of yourself, love each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.